The casting for the challenge comes with, well, a lot of challenges because have you seen their obstacles? They are not meant for regular people. Keep working, you're doing good! The show requires contestants to not only be physically and mentally fit, but they look for their talents worldwide. Our partners are chained up somewhere. We have to go and extract a bunch of Americans. And also in alums from popular shows like The Bachelor, Survivor, Big Brother, and many more. We'll break everything down from the scouting process, the qualities they are looking for, and how you could potentially be on the show if you are up for it, that is. For starters, you have to fit their eligibility requirements, which means you have to be at or above the age of majority in the state. You should also be a legal US citizen, be both physically and mentally fit, and should not be related to an employee of the show. Once you fit those basic requirements, casting directors have to decide if you are challenge material or not, meaning whether or not you have the right personality. For one, they want someone who is going to thrive. In an interview with E! News, supervising producer Sky Topic listed Kyle Christie as an example, saying just from his interview audition, we knew that the challenge was going to be a much more stripped down environment for him. He was such a partier and the challenge is a very intense environment. No phones. It really is a bubble, and we just kind of knew from the answers that he was going to thrive. Their instincts were right, as he went on to become a finalist in two shows and competed in five additional seasons on top of that. Once they know the contestant can handle the difficult environment, they have to consider house politics. The challenge is sometimes just as much about physical ability as it is about being social. Topic says, I think if you're an incredibly strong and intimidating athlete, say like Fessy Shafat or CT, that can keep you safe for a while, but ultimately Ultimately, you're in trouble, right? People want to keep you out of that final. So how do you win if physicality isn't enough? Topic notes that you have to get along with the rest of the house too. She mentions that sometimes being funny and social is enough. Topic again pinpoints Kyle and credits his social skills as to the reason why he was so successful. Because he was warm and kept the house in a good mood, so people didn't see him as a threat. But he's actually stronger than we know. Due to the intense obstacles, mental strength is actually one of the most important things they look for as well. According to Sky, a good indication of that is if they meditate or wake up earlier than everyone else. Mention that in an interview and you may just score bonus points. But even if you meet all of those requirements and have been successful on the show before, you still may not get in because producers don't want you to be burned out. It may be addicting to overcome all those challenges and have television fame like Johnny Bananas, who has competed in the the finale of a whopping 10 seasons. Producers still want to ensure they are physically and mentally prepared because not every season will be as easy as the previous one. Speaking of seasons, how they seek out their roster, according to executive producer Scott Freeman when speaking with E! News, starts with the theme. For instance, when casting for an exes or rivals themed season, the pairings have to make a lot of sense. And if no partner is able to join, then the other will also not be able to participate. Scott explained, if we want to put, say, Bananas and Wes Bergman as a team and for some reason Wes can't do it, or at the last minute something comes up, I'm like, uh oh, I have Bananas and I need to find some for him, or completely lose him. Although fun to watch, this is why casting directors prefer seasons like Free Agents, where they are competing individually way more, because they don't have to weave a web of past connections between the competitors when selecting their candidates. But they still may have to know a lot of history about their contestants, because in seasons like Dirty 30, producers needed challengers who Scott says are the more conniving, clever people in challenge history. Of course, CT and Bananas came in mind for that theme. So how do they initially scout for contestants? According to Sky Topic, no one is really off limits as long as they're eligible. Sometimes it's scouting, but sometimes they'll get a lead. She mentions that one time, two-time champion Ashley Mitchell told her that I was partying with someone in Vegas and they're incredible, you should interview them. But don't think this producer will just trust anyone. She only follows this insider info if they were great cast members to begin with. Think of it like a job application. Do a bit of networking and you may just get a resume. 
resume bump. As for who they are on the lookout for in future seasons, Sky told E! News that they are looking to explore people in the sporting world or those outside the US. Perhaps they would be inspired by the 2020 Olympics? We already started seeing some of where the show's direction is going in terms of casting from previous British contestants. We must not forget, this is still a TV show after all, and the more foreign stars they book, the more views they will collect. Scott Freeman told E! News that he was thrilled with how Vendettas turned out because it was a risk at first to have non-American competitors, but it added an element of surprise that was fun to watch. From the sound of that, it looks like the Brits are here to stay. And representation is important for the MTV show. According to E! News, Sky says she sees it as an intersection of society, and it's a place to see people collaborating and living and working together of all different races and sexual orientations and geography and gender, and that there's really nowhere we can't pull from now. Sometimes she will see a contestant from one reality show that really stood out and go and look for their friends. That's why many of the cast knows each other. And of course, the more people that are acquainted with each other, the more likely drama will be stirred from the intense situations they're put in. Freeman added that they also love a good champs versus stars dynamic. Stars like Josh Murray from popular reality TV series like The Bachelorette are great additions. They are already used to the drama, which itself requires mental toughness. If they're fit too, they have a high chance of being part of the cast. But the larger the talent pool, the harder it is to downsize your roster. Sky explains that process as initially breaking down 300 names and then asking for their interests as well as availability. Then, when there's about 65 names, they start having an interview process. They take half of the people they interview and boom, you have your 32 names. That sounds like a lot of work. Lastly, even if you fit all of those criteria, there is one crucial element that you must have, and that is timing. The challenge always comes prepared, even behind the scenes. They have a lot of alternates as backup in case something goes wrong. The type of alternates they need depends on the season. Some seasons they need an equal amount of rookies and veterans, while others are more in the format of teams. Being an alternative can be quite tricky though, because they would need to go through the same process as the actual competitors on the show, except they're not guaranteed participation. But not to worry, because if you're not chosen as an alternate, Sky says they are very much on her radar for the following seasons. You'd actually be surprised by how many times alts get used in the game because, well, life happens, and they take them opting out of the show very seriously. She brings up Devin Walker Malahan as an example where after his time on Final Reckoning, they knew he needed a pause because of the intense family trauma he went through. And because veterans are hard to replace, they have a lot more than they need on call. When Devin came back, he was stronger and ready to be challenged. It looks like the casting directors have their hands full, but after 37 seasons of entertaining audiences with fun obstacles and juicy drama, we'd say they're doing a pretty good job. Which season had the best cast? Which contestant is your all-time favorite? Let us know in the comments. Like this video if you want to stay up to date on the latest reality TV news, and we'll see you next time on The Things Reality.